Welcome back, humor consumers, to the Life Happens Laugh Anyway podcast. I'm comedian Tracy DeGraff. And I'm Catherine, co-host Bestie. Yeah, good job. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, we went to the gym already. Yeah. Did the floor workout, pool workout, saw our friends. Yeah, we did. Wendy and yeah. Mandy. And then the pool closed. We just got yeah, a text. Yeah, we just got a text. Yeah. <laughs> just, just always something. Just got it in, yeah. So that was great. And here we are in the pod lab, also known as a former bedroom of one of the mini muffins who moved out mm-hmm. and thankfully not back yet. So that's good. Uh, yet? <laughs> expecting him? No. No. Hopefully. I don't think so. No, I think he's good. Uh, but we're here today. This is episode number 56. Yeah. Cranking along. Yeah. And we have a topic. What is it, Kat? Uh, home decor trends in 2022. Yeah. Well, Exciting. that's a good topic. Yeah. And I'm, in the, I'm right in the middle of the transition between um, moving out some old furniture, moving in some new. Yeah. And uh, so I'm looking at all kinds of decor. So I'm excited. It's fun anyway. Decor is fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's a couple takeaways that we're hoping our audience will get out of today's episode. What are they? Well, we're hoping that um, we're going to give them a review and um, of three, well, more than three, because you've got some sources too, right? Yeah, of, of like what's new. Decor. Right, what's new. It's a review of what's new, that rhymes. Yes, and we're review hoping that that will um, be encouraging for you because we also want to give you confidence in making a decision. If you're in the midst of that. Yeah. Which we usually are. Right. And we want to point you in the right direction in terms of, in terms of what? Where we well, going? I think that with home decor, especially with trends in home decor, mm-hmm. you know, obviously there's so many different perspectives from each individual. You have your own taste. You mm-hmm. have your own likes and dislikes. But when it comes to pointing you in the right direction, we just want to provide you with what we've learned uh, what's trending right now in case if you're if you're redoing something like let's say you're redoing a bathroom mm-hmm. or a kitchen we want to give you some information so that maybe it can point you in the right direction of what decision to make so that down the road you aren't like oh no I wish I knew yeah and I want to say not that where I choose to get my stuff from is right but I think it is <laughs> <laughs> it's so- right for you uh, yeah so well it's i know that they're always um at the top of the game when it comes to style mm-hmm. so it's my go-to place that i kind of get style from so okay i think it's the right direction yeah all right so those are the three things what's new give you confidence if you're making decisions and just point you in the right direction for mm-hmm. those decisions all right well, let's let's uh, dive right in. What you got over there? You want to talk about our sponsors? Oh, yeah. I forgot about them. Whoops. We can't forget them. <laughs> Go ahead. Ron and Say Kenny, it. Muffin and Poo. Okay. Our yeah. husbands. Uh-huh. They're right. our sponsors. They support us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep going to work. All right. <laughs> Okay, what else? Uh, that's it that we have to go over, right? Yeah, so let's get into our topic. All right, so I am going back to um, switching screens here. Mm-hmm. So I um, I know that you looked into some things, and I'm excited to hear what mm-hmm. you found. Mm-hmm. But one, I'm going to point out one thing that I did not find that I believe is a big trend. Okay. Nowhere on these three different sites that I went to. Did they mention gold? Yeah. You know, so gold. Gold fixtures and stuff. Fixtures, not gold heart, like precious gold. No, no. Just gold color. Right. Yeah. Gold, exactly. Hardware, mm-hmm. curtain rods, and um, decor, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, we see a lot of gold everywhere on HGTV and magazines. Okay. Well, and you and I went over to Home Goods the other day mm-hmm. and walked in, and there was a big display of the bases of the lamps were gold and they had gold decor all grouped together yep. and it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's been around a couple of years now, but I didn't find, or actually more than that, but I didn't find anything saying that that's going to be the trend in 2022. Yeah, I didn't so either. I was disappointed. I'm like, dang oh, it, because well. I just bought some curtain rods that are gold and some other gold Yeah, fixtures. but that's, that's the uh, thing with trends, especially when it comes to fashion. You know, the things that are being put out there by magazines, home decor magazines and bloggers and vloggers and all that, Mm -hmm. they might focus on a particular area, but they might not, they can't focus on everything. So, Mm -hmm. and if you go into the stores and you see what's hot, the customer will drive the trend. 
Trust me. Oh, for sure. Because if it flops, they're not going to carry it. Right. So if people weren't buying the gold stuff, they wouldn't have the gold stuff. Right. So done. <laughs> <laughs> you were right this whole time. All right. So the three different sources I went to are Vogue and House Beautiful and Good Housekeeping. Okay. And then we'll put the links in later. So I tried to find what was the common thread that they all agreed on because yeah. Vogue is way out there. I yeah. mean, they, they are, you know, like ultra modern and futuristic usually or high yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. So... So but what were their common denominators? Well, they all said both it'll still be both calming and yet bold patterns and colors are going to be a thing. Okay. Okay. So that's something that all three mentioned. And they also... Wait, my brain is back on calming and bold patterns and mm-hmm. colors. Yeah. In fact, on one of the sites, their very first thing that they say is calming and it's all bold well here's what they say they say that overall it's going to be calming the rooms are going to be calming and yet there will also be bold patterns so bold patterns that's just you know like geometric colors are going to be uh, popular again and calming all this is together in one space it's calming and bold patterns and bold colors so it's calm colors and calm patterns? I, I, I could, <laughs> don't know what to tell you, but that's what it said. Yes. <laughs> well, now I'm doubting your sources. Well, you know. All right. That's well, what they say. Okay. Well, what else did and they say? So the 60s, 70s look is going to be back with browns. Everything and just circles back around, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Browns, browns, oranges, sage. Well, I didn't see oranges. Okay. So that's that. Sustainability Mm. was another one. Yeah. So what that means is reusing things you have or vintage things and antiques. Mm -hmm. I saw that in a couple of the places that I researched for this episode Mm -hmm. as well. And of course, you and I love that. Mm -hmm. We love going to thrift Mm -hmm. or we're not beyond just picking something up off the curb done that many times (laughs) yeah mm -hmm. and just look around this room look how many things in this room did we pick up either at a thrift store or for free i mean the desk was free Mm -hmm. that was from evelina's that was goodwill that was goodwill that was goodwill this is from marketplace so somebody else owned it right oh this i bought new yeah yeah the map the map of the world this bookcase behind me what that was evelina's so secondhand and the then the retro vintage lamp that is so cool so it's fun to decorate with things and it is sustainable Mm because you're not you're just looking for things that already exist yeah nice okay what else i think it's great for the millennials who are pretty green you know overall so good for them good for us happy oh happy day yep they all said mindful rooms or versatile rooms rooms that are dual purpose or multi-purpose and a lot of that is attributed to the pandemic like right people are home more right so they're having to you know the work office also homework rooms yeah. for kids and i then, saw that too yeah. yeah in the future that could be uh, like a college uh, area where they can even do a little business out of that little area yeah while they're in college i i saw one space where they took the closet and they took the doors off mm-hmm. and created like a little officey homework nook in the closet mm-hmm. so they put shelves there so that it could be like a desk nice. and you just pull a chair up to that mm. area and now you've got you know you could use it for anything crafting or cricketing like we love to do the cricket yeah thing. Um, or it could be kids doing homework or parents doing work work yeah work from homework I'd have to be really convinced to or be really creative because I wouldn't be able to stand that well you probably wouldn't like facing the the no. interior yeah. yeah I've done that before in a yeah. big closet that we had in our old house yeah and uh, I, I couldn't take it I hated <laughs> not having any windows <laughs> So another thing that I came across that all of these sources all said, and it was all um, 
the same thing was curved furniture. I saw that too. Yes. I thought, dang it. I just bought from Pottery Barn the square arm yeah. sofa. So I bought a sofa and two chairs. club chairs. To Are go. they square too? Or? Yeah, they're square arm. Oh. And I really debated because I do like mm. the rolled arm. Mm-hmm. Now, not I don't not necessarily the way flared out. Mm-hmm. arm but the rolled arm i i still love it it's very it's it's country but it's also modern mm-hmm. but i ordered i thought oh, i'm gonna be modern i'm gonna go with the trend you know <laughs> but oh I, if it's in pottery barn that's, that's what i was gonna say come is, on yeah, yeah it's good they're a leader in style so and that was by the way where i was thinking about you know referring and pointing someone to a source is just flip through a pottery barn catalog or their online yeah they are always in the leading trends and all the other stores are trying to copy that so. yeah and speaking of online before i forget because i do want to get this in ashley furniture is my oh, yeah. go-to place for a des- they have a design tool there mm-hmm. that you can use for free. You just like log in, you sign up for a free account, whatever. And then you log in and you can design the room, your actual room with your measurements mm-hmm. on their site. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome. Yeah, that's true. And it can help you save money because you come up with a plan right for the space right and i've used it for this house i've used it for every room that i've done Mm -hmm. and it's turned out beautifully nice i like it i don't know if pottery barn they probably have that as well but Mm -hmm. i do know that like our sales gal she had done that for the room that i was going to have the furniture in Mm mm-hmm and she did all she took my measurements and did the whole layout but she did it for me right yeah nice yeah well that was it overall. I was surprised to see, too, black accents. So black hardware. Okay. Um, and I do love that look. Like this one picture had a black mirror in the background. Black, the windows, you know, like the uh, grill and so forth, the pane and all yeah. that was black. So it looks real nice against the lighter walls and pattern curtains. And also another thing I was surprised about, a lot of marble. I thought everything was quartz now. Okay. And I mean... You know, people aren't going to switch out their con- countertops. Yeah. You know, just for one year. The quartz is still popular. Yeah. But they did say a lot of marble. So that's it overall. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, do you want me to share what I learned? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I found a couple videos. I prefer to do research on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I found a couple videos. I'll link them in the show notes. One was six design trends uh, for 2022. This was from a, a studio, a design studio. It's called BA Studio TV. And they had six design trends. One was open rooms, but private oh, yeah. spaces with room dividers. I did see that too. Yeah, which I, is kind of cool. that the open concept is going bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. But, but so this particular person said using room dividers to create private spaces mm-hmm. is, is something that they're seeing on trend. Uh, shades of green. I saw this in more than one, um, more than one site. Sage, like is the color of the year. Gosh. And they said with sage, you know, first of all, when it comes to like, okay, why are you, why are you doing that now? You because, feel bad. What'd you do? Well, no, Sage was popular like <laughs> late nineties and the two thousand. We had it in our house. Okay. And I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I, I don't want to see it again on the walls or maybe, maybe in fabrics, but I just, okay. to me, Sage is out. All right. But here's the thing with decor, design, fashion, it, it is individualized. You know, the mm-hmm. trends come and go. Right. And then they come back and then they go again. Then mm-hmm. they, they just keep circling around. Oh, well, they have to because we don't have. Whatever. You know. Right. You only have so yeah. many colors yeah. and such. And th- with Sage, the way that I saw this person lay it out, it was beautiful, of course, because they were using different textures and, you know, um, the scale of the furniture was correct and things like that. So there are a lot of design elements that one can apply mm-hmm. to any year of mm-hmm. trends of colors and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you want to add sage, like if you're not sick of it, mm-hmm. and you want to just add a little bit of sage into your scheme, your color scheme, yeah, get some sage pillows to throw on your neutral colored couch or a sage um, colored leafy plant 
Oh, yeah, I did see pl- plants, plants, plants back in. And you could tell that in the, all the stores. They're putting out those silk plants again a yeah. big time. Even real plants. Like, I'm I'm seeing people, myself included, I, I do love real plants. Mm-hmm. And I loved them. I loved them in my former home, um, you know, before yeah, we downsized. Had I had yeah. a lot of plants. Mm-hmm. But then I kind of purposely, I did like a mass murder of all my plants when we moved mm-hmm. because I knew I was moving. Mm-hmm. So I just let them all die. Um, but now... Um, I'm back now with getting. I have I've, I have a combination of some that are fake, like that one over there is fake. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to water it. You know, yeah, it's I a, know. It's well, thing. especially where that is. That's yeah. right over your printer. Yeah. No one will water that. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's see what else did I learn from this particular person. By the way, I yeah. saw that too. Greens. What? Yeah. I know I mentioned browns, but that's because all three of these yeah. had said those earth tones. Yeah. But green was in there too. Okay, so th- these people said also about the sustainable furniture, resale and thrift. That's very popular. Okay, this is interesting. A canopy bed is on trend, what? but without the canopy, just with oh. the frame. So no fabric on it, just the frame and not real pronounced, like not real fancy and ornate, but like a metal structure. I oh. mean, the way that they showed it in the pictures was pretty. Of course, curved furniture. Mm-hmm. They all said that. Mm-hmm. And then modern monochromatic tones. That was their take on it. Mm-hmm. Another one that I did was by Kristen McGowan, who's a designer. She also said about Sage. She said sculptural things yeah, I saw are that back too. in trend. I didn't mention it, but I saw that. She also said traditional. Some people, you know, traditional is nice because it, it just never really goes out. Yeah, I found that as well. Traditional details yeah. are still in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She talked about picture frame molding to bring architectural interest into rooms mm-hmm. is something that's trending. Also, interesting, she talked about cabinets. So if you're oh. thinking about upgrading your cabinets mm-hmm. in your kitchen or perhaps even in your bathroom although she didn't mention the bathroom but I'm just saying she said warm wood mix Mm -hmm. tones so so let's say that you have an island or an upper cabinet that is off to its side on its own or something Mm -hmm. a warm wood for that along with a painted look with the other cabinets and the painting um, the painted side, creamy stone colors. So natural colors, warm colors, mm-hmm. not stark white. Yeah, I I found that as well. Yeah. And I, I myself have been um, moving toward warmer colors in furniture anyway. Yeah. So I was glad to read that. It was really pretty, the, the examples that she gave. And like I said, I'm going to put this in the show notes. Okay. Um, she also talked about the curved furniture. And also smart home devices. So those little plugs and such that you can, mm -hmm. okay, so you plug them into the wall. I I got these for my son and daughter-in-law for uh, Christmas. They they wanted these smart plugs. Mm -hmm. I think Patrick, I think that's what I got him too. Okay. I kind of find out now how it works. Because I think you plug it into the wall Mm -hmm. and you somehow with your phone, you say light on. Like that. Like clap on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But no clapping. Yeah. It's something like that. Yeah. Well, anyway, smart home devices. And on this example, they also showed um, the curtains that go up and down. Oh, yeah. Which I was giving my husband a hard time the other day. We live in a very small house, mm-hmm. and he wants to get curtains that are mechanical. And you <laughs> you tell him to, or you use a remote. I'm like, it's two steps to the window. Yeah. I mean, I've seen that for hard to reach places. Yeah. yeah like, but not really. You're going to sit in the... <laughs> Look at me. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. Open says me. Right. Okay, here's one if you're thinking about replacing your flooring. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say you've got that going on. This person said to choose light colored wood floors, not dark. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a trend toward that. Mm -hmm. Um, And then at home workspaces, like we already talked about, and then a traditional closed off floor plan is starting to come back in vogue. Yeah, I read that too. Isn't that crazy? back, Back to the cabinets. Yes. Curvy furniture is we both found that in our research right Right. well one of the sites said with that curvy cabinets those cabinets with the arches in it really ah i couldn't believe it huh yeah interesting it's well it said arched uh cabinetry so it's either the shape of you know an arch uh, cabinet door i guess or it's the arch molding inside Mm. 
So, but I was surprised to read that. Another thing I read too was, and this was in Vogue, that chintz and the 1940s look is also in the mix mm. and on trend for, for 2022. What's chintz? Oh, you know what chintz is. I do? Yes. Chintz I is that tiny, well, think vintage, like, like say bone china, those uh, tiny pattern of little floral things on a china or um, a fabric. We yeah. used to we used to not allow it at Evelina's <laughs> because it was so it was out. out. Yes, it's coming back now, huh? Yeah, and so like you can use it on wallpaper. I've heard wallpaper is coming. Yeah, back. Wall, well, wallpapers has been back for a while. So I'm not surprised to see that at all. No, it, some of it looks great. Like yeah, when I'm but watching HD TV, so much work. No, there's it's so much easier now. Is it really? Yeah, to take on, put on and take off. Oh, okay. Well, that mm-hmm. helps. Yeah. Oh, I see what chintz is. Yeah. It's just... Uh, the yeah. tiny, tiny little yeah. floral pattern. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. But here's oh. a thing to remember with home decor as well. If you don't like it, don't don't implement it just because yes. so-and-so says... Exactly. It's trendy. It, it's still... Overall, it's still taking a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's what's so nice. I mean, you've got a wide variety here and you'll still be trending between the 60s 70s and now we're saying 1940s too yeah and um mid-century modern is still popular yeah so i do i do that i do a little bit of eclectic where i like i like this but i also like this vintage antique look yeah bring it together and it's still fine yeah and if you love to do diy decorating like Catherine and i love to do it so so we enjoy it Mm -hmm. but in the event that you don't love it and let's say it confuses you and just listening to us it makes you go oh my gosh now I don't know what to do Mm -hmm. hire a decorator hire hire somebody to give you a plan you will save money Mm, definitely and they a lot of them will work with what you already have right yeah in fact we know one so we can link her stuff she's got a website our friend Denise Mm -hmm. she works right there at Evelina's Red Dresser in Frankfurt and she does amazing work, mm-hmm. and she'll do it remotely, so you don't have to be in Frankfort, Illinois, in order to get her, you know, oh, yeah. services. She has even said that she'll fly out to, so you know, certain places, yeah, as long as they will put her up, or she'll just do it digitally, you know. Yeah, she can, she's done that. She can just come up with a plan. The girl has got gifts. Mm-hmm. She's got the gift. Yep, and it will save you money by hiring a pro who can take your space. And they can put it all, pull it all together for you. And then all you do is implement the plan. Mm-hmm. I mean, she she and others like her, they'll take you all the way through from A to Z, mm-hmm. you know, and implement the plan with you. But if you just want a plan and then you implement it, it it's going to save you money for mm-hmm. sure. She's also very good at home staging. Yeah, for sale. So she can assist yeah. you in that and your home will sell quite quickly. Yeah, I'm making a note that I have to add yeah, that. Yeah, I saw so that. the show notes. Okay, what else? Well, I was going to mention what's out. Oh, what's out, Catherine? Well, we've already mentioned open floor plans. It says that it'll be uh, more segmented and traditional spaces. So look for that. Mm-hmm. Boucle. Do you know what boucle is? Not a clue. I had to look it up. All right. Because <laughs> I was like, what is boucle? Um, boucle is like a yarn that's a little bit knobby but it's usually white and cream and it's in um like textures blankets chairs things like that Mm -hmm. so so vogue says it's it's out but i read in another source i can't remember which one that um it's still popular so (laughs) vogue whatever vogue what do they know yeah (laughs) all white everything is on its way out i haven't seen too many friends of mine go that way with all white everything Mm -hmm. i've seen it on tv and in magazines but Mm -hmm. i just haven't seen it in real life um yeah i don't think i have either yeah not everything yeah well and i i've been like i said i used to love to paint everything and just about most of it was some form of white Mm -hmm. but i've gone away from that Mm -hmm. and like i said earlier i just like that warm tone Mm mm-hmm Non-functional decorative objects, um, so I don't even know what they mean by that, but they're saying colored candles and useful everyday objects with personality will be, will be replacing futile decorations that have neither meaning or purpose. 
What? So what that <laughs> what that they're talking about, I'm not quite certain. Okay. Because I mean, I you found and I found that sculptural things and oh, I also saw 3D art is coming back. So yeah. yay! That reminds me of the 80s <laughs> and boxy sofas. <laughs> Like the one that you have coming. Yes, the one that's going to be here between now and the 24th of January. Which you've been waiting quite a while. When did you order your furniture? In October. Mm -hmm. So it's been a couple months because of the pandemic and whatever. Uh, Yeah. I know furniture is a big issue out there. Mm -hmm. Supply chain thing. Yeah. All right. You know what I heard that is out that I just bought is a quilted headboard. I just bought a quilted (laughs) headboard for our guest room. I love it. Well, quil- fabric, right? It's not really quilted. Oh, like what with do you a call quilt. it? Tufted. Tufted, not yeah. Quil- it's not quilted. Right. It's tufted. Mm-hmm. And that uh, supposedly from this one person is like, that's so, you know, yesterday. <laughs> I was surprised. So I have a Pottery Barn catalog that just came to me about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And it's for the upcoming spring. I was surprised how many different fabric headboards they had. Yeah. I was quite surprised. I was yeah. like, wow, that's a lot of fabric. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the textiles are, are still really popular. Yeah. Fabrics and pillows. and One thing that I've always loved, and I don't, I don't think you can go wrong here, is if you get inspiration from nature. Because God yeah. is who he is. That's right. He's the ultimate creator. Yes. And so when you go out in nature, let's say you take a picture in nature, mm-hmm. and then you pull those colors together and those textures together in a space, I don't think you can go wrong. I don't think so either. Yeah. That was another thing that was mentioned too about nature and bringing it in mm-hmm. and opening the windows and light and airy was mentioned as well mm-hmm. so that one could see out and... Um, bring that outdoor oh that was another thing that outdoor furniture is really becoming more and more stylish because of people being yeah. home more yeah which is nice mm-hmm. well and when you have an outdoor space that you create that sense of warmth and family and friends and fun and all that you use it more mm. oh, for sure you use it more and then you create little memories and like we've you know used mm-hmm. each other's patios our family's been down at your place mm-hmm. hanging out on the patio you've been at our place hanging on the patio it's fun yeah um one thing i'll say about that is um y- the other elements to an atmosphere like light like mm-hmm. lamps, not just oh, natural light, mm-hmm. but lamps. Oh, I love lamps. Light is pretty important. And even like in this room, I know people can't see us, but there's a there's a corner that was kind of dark. And so we had um, one of the lights that I have that's for, for when you're, studio type when you're creating something in yeah. a studio. Yeah. Um, well, I just did some rearranging and I put this soft, beautiful vintage light back there on top of a bookshelf. And it's just enough Mm -hmm. because light affects your mood so i would encourage anybody to look at your space and and this is something that our friend denise helps people with a lot Mm -hmm. with lighting is to um think about what kind of light you need is it task light is it ambient light is it just you know so that you can like night light light Mm -hmm. (laughs) get up and go to the bathroom light but use light to serve you in the best possible way like i have a bunch of candles that are battery operated and i love it because they're on a timer mm-hmm. me too and it feels like i have servants that run around and put yeah. my put my candles on i know i have a remote for some of them i love it oh yeah. some of them today they the flame looks real it's not but oh yeah it looks real the flickering kind. yeah so those kinds of things can really warm up and cozy up your space and put them where you need them, mm-hmm. where you just need a little space. So that's light. The other thing is sound, music. Mm-hmm. Um, my husband bought me um, a little speaker that is, you, you bounce the thing from your phone, it goes to the speaker. Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it's called Bluetooth. I know. Why? It's been like that for quite a while. Well, all the names now are more fun. Yahoo, Google, What's Bluetooth. What's Bluetooth? I think well, of a Bluetooth. I, I don't know, get it. But they're all like fun names. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So that can really enhance a space. Mm-hmm. And let's say, for example, that you do want to create an outdoor space where you can go and hang out and have a little dinner or something. Mm-hmm. Bring that Bluetooth speaker out there and get some really cool sounds going. Yeah. 
I yeah. signed up for Spotify this year too. I have the paid the paid version. I of do it. too, and I was going to cancel it. it. No, don't cancel it. Then you don't you don't get the ads. Would you, why would you cancel it? Well, I just hate it when I see the bill coming in. <laughs> I mean, it's not a lot, but when I see it, I'm like, dang, why am I paying that? Do you use Spotify? I always yes. Well, we use Podbean the most, but right. But, but Spotify, if you cancel your um, paid prescript, not prescription subscription. subscription. It's going to, you're going to have ads. Yeah, I know. All right. Anyway. Okay. Hey, back to the lamp and lighting. And yes. The ambiance is really, that's, that makes your home so cozy, I think, is lamp light. You know? Yeah. It's like you were saying. And I love it when you see it like a magazine picture yeah. or a, a home that's for sale and they turn the light on even in the daytime. Right. Because there's so much power in that lamp. The light. Lighting is huge Mm -hmm. and even when you're going to sell your home they say you should turn on all the lights yeah that's what i was saying and you know i just recorded my comedy special and we had a light director a lighting director they called him an ld Mm -hmm. and he was in charge of the lights and it's just amazing to me to the detail that he paid attention to where the lights were and and how they looked on camera and what kind of vibe they, you know, gave mm-hmm. off and even the color saturation and all the stuff. Yeah. It was cool. Sure all is. Right. What else? Is uh, that it? That's it. All right. Well, I hope that In our listeners. Nutshell. Yeah, I hope our listeners like that because I enjoyed it. I did too. All right. Well, that's, <laughs> that's two of us. fun to talk about. <laughs> it is fun to talk about. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we have some inspirational uh, scripture like we always do. And what's our call to action? Yeah. Hold on, let's do the scripture first. The scripture is Ecclesiastes 3.11, and this is the New International Version. It says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. It is still true. It is very true. It's always true. true. It's never going to not be true. Yeah. That God has made everything beautiful and enjoy it and everlasting like these styles and fashions like we said earlier they come they go they come back again and with god Mm -hmm. it's always the same you can count on it to be the same it's a firm 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 foundation Mm -hmm. all right what's our call to action Catherine? call to action we would like you our listeners to refer a friend or a co-worker or whomever to this episode yeah or any other episode that you may have listened to and really liked yeah refer us because Mm -hmm. we're we want to grow in 2022 yes and beyond yes all right our next episode uh what's the topic Groundhog. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, yeah. Yeah, we went through our editorial calendar and we came up with Groundhog Day because it's going to be Groundhog Day. It's coming up and we thought, why not? Why Let's not talk about it. Right. So we're going to look into the history of it, how we got going with it. Who mm-hmm. knows? Plus, you pointed out that the date that Groundhog Day falls on is 2-2 two, two, or is it 2-2-22? Two, 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 yeah. Yeah. Groundhog Day is always February 2nd. So it's That's always right. two two. That's right. It's just that this year it's two 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 two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So two 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 two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been listening to the Life Happens Laugh Anyway podcast. I'm still comedian Tracy DeGraff. I'm still Catherine. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>